good part about it is that we get to show the human side of the cops doing what they do because it is always my belief that cops are just a gang unto themselves with the good and the bad. Just like I believe the gangbangers in the street got good and bad, like police officers do. They got stress and they got character flaws that come from their lifestyles. I could be the, the best actor anybody ever seen. Given the chance, the opportunity, and the experience, and the lessons from people, I could be the best. But right now, I don't even wish to be the best. I just want to be one of them. If you look at it from a stereotypical point of view, like how people say, you know, all your troubles with the law, how could you play a cop? Just from a stereotypical point of view, who could play a cop better? I've seen them and they're evil when, when they think nobody's looking. I've seen the compassion. I've seen the anger. I've seen the, the jealousy. I've seen the fear. I've seen respect. And I've seen hate from cops more than anybody. You know what I mean? I've been there. I just got out of maximum penitentiary. I got arrested like 12 times last year. You know what I mean? Some my, some my mistake, some destiny, some fate, and some unwarranted. You know what I mean? But for whatever reason, I got to see police more than I wanted to. So for that reason alone, I'm the perfect perfect choice for the for the role. I can't explain why I shine and no one else shines. I think everybody shines in different things. And a lot of things I can't do. I can't play basketball like every other black person in America. But I can act. I, I know how to go to that true spot in myself because I'm there every day. I can be me. I can be whoever because I'm true to me. I can go to neutral easily. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I could go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I could walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. It's there. It's not sold. I didn't sell it. It's still within me. I still feel it. My heart is still connected to my body. So I, I could, any character, I'm going to bring that intensity, that truth, that honesty to it because I have to repay for, for that blessing from black Jesus, from God, have to pay for that by shining. If he give you the, the voltage and you waste it, that's the curse. He gave me the voltage, I'm a shine. It's not mine, it's, it's from God, it's God. Not that it's so special that nobody got it, but all of our gifts and blessings and, and our strengths and our weaknesses come from God, come from black Jesus or whoever comes from within you, you know what I mean? So. It's not really tricky. It's, everybody can do it if they just can go to that spot. I guess all the things that happened to me in my life allow me to go there easier. There's a song called already called Fortune and Fame. Um, and it's like the hook goes, something we all adore. It's the one thing worth dying for. Nothing but pain stuck in this game. Searching for fortune and fame. Something we all adore. The one thing we dying for, nothing but pain, stuck in this game, searching for fortune and fame. That's what I hear. It's, it's, it's so basic that we all want to be famous and noticed and watched, and we all want money and riches, and we all, we all want to find us out of life from, a, from the most heartless gangbanger to the most uh, virtuous police officer. 